hi everyone outside there how are you doing i hope you're doing fine yes i'm doing good on myself and above it all i hope you're keeping it safe and you are healthy that's the most important thing just to keep it safe you know and being healthy health is fast so thanks a lot for finding time to watch this video as i always do say i appreciate every one of you for just taking your precious time to sit down and watch my videos i appreciate every one of you and i say a huge 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 thank you and for those who are new here thanks a lot you know and we're most most welcome i'm shots kim as i said and in case you haven't you know subscribed to my youtube channel please make sure you do so subscribe hit that notification bell you know like comment and yeah thanks a lot so um before i go on with today's video i have to say this um this is not one of those videos which i like making it's not absolutely not it's not but i felt the need of you know coming here you know and speaking out what's in my heart just pulling it out and that's what i'm going to do now um as you all may be knowing or knows is that here in germany we are now at a second uh, yeah. We are now in a second lockdown, which started yesterday. And um, I have to be honest with you guys and say that this is the very last thing I expected. So we, you know, after the first lockdown, which was really bad, I thought now that we have, you know, overcome uh, the, the whole issue and now going back to our normal lives. We are going back to our businesses. We are going back to our, you know, social life. But I think that was just a dream, which is going to remain to be a dream, unfortunately. Yeah, I had, to get, I had to get out of that place because there's a traffic jam in front of me and I have to use another way so that I come back or I get home early. So what I was saying is that this lockdown is just, it's just frustrating, guys. You cannot imagine how bad it is for those people who has now to close their businesses a second time well here in Germany they haven't closed everything like the first lockdown now uh, the first lockdown everything went to just down they closed almost everything they just left hospitals you know um, those first cares they were working but um, other businesses were just blocked down to nothing just to zero but this time around they close uh, saunas uh, swimming pools gyms are closed they close cosmetics uh, you know studios um, you cannot go there anymore now I want you to tell me this these people just opened like two months ago and they were trying to fight for their existence they are fighting to exist they are fighting to bring back their businesses but then they have to suffer a second lockdown guys you can imagine what's going on in these people's mind i'm trying to think like what's going on in these people's mind what are they thinking what are they thinking you know because they're struggling to exist now they're struggling you know to come back to their businesses but then they have to suffer a second lockdown and what's even making me more sad is to imagine how other countries are suffering this you know as i said a german or germany is a very very rich country it's a very very wealthy country it has more than enough it can take care of its people without asking for help from outside in fact it can take care of itself here in germany and go ahead and take care of other countries without any problem it has more than enough it's a very very wealthy country very wealthy it has all it takes but it's still they are feeling this pressure they are feeling the effect of closing some businesses so the question is what about other countries which are just struggling economically to come up how are they feeling how are, what are they thinking what is in their mind uh, a country like france did the same and brought everything fast to null to zero you know and i uh, this lockdown can also extend to other countries and that's where my fear is now that's where my biggest fear is that it might extend to other countries 
uh, leading to a second lockdown to also other countries which are struggling economically you know to stand you know in other countries there are people who wake up every day to go to work for them to be able to feed their families if they do not wake up go out there hustle that means there will be no food on the table that day so they go work and what they earn get what they get for them to be able to feed their family back home so i'm asking myself what's what's going to be of that country of those country of those people who have to just struggle hustle every day to feed their family what's going to be of them and that's where i'm just feeling so sad i'm just feeling so the whole thing is so frustrating and uh you know something else is about also this country um um you know what what does this lockdown means for us parents what does it mean you know from here in germany school are still going on uh, nursery school kindergarten that's still open um and i'm just hoping i'm just praying so hard that it is remains that way that the school remain open kindergarten remain open because i'm telling you there's nothing hard like closing schools, closing kindergarten, and you have to take care of your children at home. Taking care of your, ch your child at home is not a problem because if, they, if the government closed school, then they, they, are, they bear in mind that parents will have to stop going to work to take care of the children at home. So that's, that, that's not a problem. That's not the problem. That's not even my point. My point is, so imagine to a point where you have to stay with your kids at home and you know, some kids are too small to understand why they have to stay at home and in most cases even inside the house because the first lockdown they even lo uh, closed uh, you know playground for children they could not go outside to the playground and play they could not do that it was locked also it was closed not doing that it was so hard to convince a child that no we are not going to play outside because there is a virus outside there there is a disease outside there which is forcing us to be at home it was so difficult to convince a child that way. So imagine the weather outside is good, you know, or even it's bad, it's raining. Here in Germany, they don't even mind. They'll go out whether it's raining or not. Um, and then you have to stay inside your house with that child. How do you keep this child active? How do you do that? How do you keep this child active? You know, I was talking with another mother, you know, a friend of mine, and um, she was telling me, that the first lockdown almost you know almost led her to depression and I believe she's not the only person who was in this situation or in this point of becoming depressed I'm very sure she's not the only one um, I was you know talking with people who are around me people who we do mingle around and there was an issue of becoming an alcoholic and this was also very high there was issue of um, you know family conflicts you know fights at home simply because you are always with the same person 24 hours at home I mean I'm just praying hard that this pandemic is just going to be under control as soon as possible because um, it is it is very it's very hard for some people it's very very sad i just hope and believe that things are going to be okay very very soon since we are already in aid and that's where we are we just have to show love to people who are within us to our neighbors to our family friends to our friends to people who we live within we have to you know extend a hand of love and caring to them so if you are there and you have something you can do to help or to assist someone please go ahead and do so go ahead and do so um show some love to people who you live with share that which you have do not keep you know do not just have a full store full of food full of stuffs whereas your neighbor who just live next door to you is having nothing share with people share that which you have if there's someone who lives near you or someone you know who has you know small kids and cannot go outside alone you know to buy food or there's an adult person an old person living within you and you know very well she or he cannot go outside 
please you know extend a hand of helping a hand of, of love and go for that person go to that person ask whether you can help something or to do something go shopping for such a person you know uh you know even call a friend of yours call those people who live very far away from you to just know how they are doing this is going to help a lot this is going to do great things this is going to do an amazing job or amazing thing inside thing um i know it feels nice to just receive a call from someone just asking you hi how are you doing is there anything i can do to help you can i help you i know this is going to make people feel good so if you're out there and you are capable of helping please you know extend that hand of helping show people love show them love i think that's what they need for now people need people who are showing them love people who are you know telling them you know what i know it's difficult but we are going to overcome this i know it's hard but we are going to do this together all together and we are going to win this together it's we have to hold hands to fight this pandemic together it's about togetherness it's about you know following the rules which the government has installed out there we have to you know to follow them like now here in germany we are not supposed to meet um more than two family members uh we just have to be two family members and the total number of 10 people more than that is not you know it's against the rules now and um this time around they're not joking because police are just going to knock at your door um it's our duty to follow that which we have to you know we are all we know what to do because um it's, it's there it's explained is explained of us what to do and if we follow the laws and uh, the regulations i'm very sure we are all going to win this uh, together and soon and i'm saying this soon and very soon we are going to all hold hands again and celebrate that you know what we have won we have won now the disease is under control or this pandemic is under control and we are all going to celebrate together yes uh, and now the last thing is, uh, you know, remember to pray, you know, pray hard because we cannot do this on or with our own minds or with our own effort. We need God to intervene in this and we need to just pray and pray hard and tell God, please, you know, intervene in this and let us go back to our normal lives let's have peace in us because many people they are not having peace keep safe where you are pray hard and extend a hand of love to our loved ones make sure you you know you pass a hand of love to our not to the loved one make sure you help each other as i said be there for someone make someone happy make someone happy when you go to bed ask yourself have i made someone happy today have i Ask yourself that have i extended my hand of help have i done my best to make sure that someone somewhere is feeling good ask yourself that before you go to bed make sure you do so so stay safe you know and god bless you you know and may you have peace in you and uh yeah just take care of yourself and also for your neighbors and also for people who are near you and people who you know matters a lot to you and yeah thanks a lot for watching this video as i said and see you next week with another video stay blessed and i love you so very much goodbye